Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. Uh, this is gonna be your read for April 2021. It's a general read, and if you are looking for a personal read, uh, go to The Guided Intuitive up here or in my description box, all right? So let's jump into this. Happy April, oh, guys, happy April. Uh, we're gonna start and pull some cards just on you first. It always starts with you. Uh, even in our monthlies, it starts with you here. And then we're gonna jump into the main spread and go a little bit more into kind of like uh, your what your um, strengths are, what your future is, uh, what you need to know, hopes and fears, uh, what you might not know, and uh, a little bit more about what's happening in the near future and, of course, your overall outcome, okay? So there you have it. So what I'm going to do is start with you first. We're going to pull three cards and see what wants to come out for Cancer. Uh, now, this can pertain, pertain to your love life, uh, your work, and just life overall because this is going to be what the universe wants you to know, all right? All right, my bi-weekly is focused on love specifically, okay? I'm going to take that, okay? Um, yeah, and then my monthly is Focus on whatever comes out, okay? So we're going to address that. But this is going to affect all of your whole month, whether it's love or anything, all right? So here we go. What do we have? Unbound. So this is about, you know, at the bottom of the deck, we got unbound. And this just really tells me that you're releasing whatever that has been really, really holding you back, okay? So you're, you're, you're kind of unbounding one's self, right? Uh, you know, and it's about, it could be about your, your soul contracts. It could be past lives of some sort. That could be the case. Uh, but you're actually cutting off the energy from that. And this is very, very key. Um, any sort of soul pattern that is not serving you, you are actually relinquishing the reins from that and stepping through to be more of who the true you is, right? You're what your soul is here to do, okay? So unbound for some of you could be very, very pivotal, okay? Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first card that I get is soul family, okay? Okay. Now, this is interesting because um, this talks to me about, um, this talks to me about, you know, calling in your tribe and others around you. Yeah, calling in your tribe and others around you. Um, you know, really coming together and making sure that your life is, is you know, all those dolphins, they're very playful, right? And so uh, they're joyful and uh, it's about coming together with your soul tribe in union, right? Uh, and uh, it is about, you know, knowing that you just don't have to do everything alone and keep that in mind, Cancer. You don't have to do everything alone, you know, in a relationship or in a situation, this is saying is that you don't have to do it alone. Um, you've got your soul family to call upon. Um, and, you know, whenever you need to, you can call upon your support team. It's, that's what's really key. Uh, and even if it's here within our group, don't hesitate to do that. You can also check out our Facebook group. But in our groups underneath our videos here, um, you know, definitely uh, is a soul tribe that's here for you of like-minded souls, right? And they're here for a reason. And um, it's to get, you know, additional insights. It's going to lead in further for their personal development and their own truth, right? Uh, and it's not to adopt what any reader says. Okay, so do note that. Don't give your power away to any reader, guys. Don't ever do that. You have the power. You harness that within. My goal here on my channel is to provide guideposts, uh, to check in with oneself, to see, uh, you know, to give you ideas and get things rolling for you to make your own decisions, right? So that's very, very key. But that's what's coming through here, right? Um, it is, uh, you know, people who get you at a soul level that want you to surround yourself with. And this is going to be very, very big, okay? Uh, they're coming in. They're looking for you. Um, you know, they're here. And if you haven't found them yet, it just means that uh, this is a sign that they're close by. Um, so, uh, in order for you to find them, it's important that you don't dim your light or let yourself, uh, uh, and truly let yourself, I should say, uh, be real, be true and be seen. Okay. That's how I feel. Okay. That's why I think it's really coming through in this card. Okay. So call in your support team right now. It's going to be very, very big. Okay. Um, now the next card that I get is, uh, Pilates. Okay. Um, and this is about, um, a double mission, uh, you know, and this is what I get from this card because you see how these people are kind of moving up. They're kind of uplifting. You know, like, it's like, it's like they're walking and then they uplift. This is about you uplifting others. Cancer is what I feel. Okay. It's about whatever it is that you do. Okay. Whatever it is, uh, you know, in a situation in a relationship, whatever that is, you, it's about uplifting others, okay? So this is really, really cool. I love seeing this here, but it's a, um, it's, it's about channeling 
your energy in a way that does uplift others okay so for some of you that might be what you're doing okay and if that's the case drop your girl a like below uh, guys and definitely uh, subscribe uh, while you're at it if I do vibe with you all right but that's what I'm seeing here it's kind of like even lost souls that you're able to help uplift by channeling your energy or whatever it is that you do okay so this is interesting wow my gosh very very beautiful love seeing this okay and my moon's in cancer guys this is interesting i'm kind of there with you i think this is really cool now the next thing to keep in mind too is that you get you're already doing it okay so this is about if you've ever wondered what you should be doing you're kind of doing a part of it already, okay? Whatever it is, at least in some way, okay? Um, you know, even if you have to shift energy a little bit or shift a perspective a little bit, you're kind of already, you're already doing in some way, shape or form what it is that you're here to do, okay? Whether you realize it or not, okay? It could be that you, you might not even be, uh, you know, uh, it might not even be a business. It could be something else too. So this is basically, see, you're already doing it. So it wants you to stop overthinking things. You're already doing it. All right. Uh, and that's what it's saying. So keep facing what it is that is your true north for you um, because that's what's coming into play. OK, uh, you're already doing it. So stop overthinking. So what I'm going to do is pull some wellness cards and we're going to pull on each one. Uh, let's take a look at your soul family. This flew out. What is that? Allowing relax and enjoy yourself. OK, uh, with your soul family, let situations unfold. Relax and enjoy yourself with your tribe. OK. That is what is coming through here. Yeah, and just know that uh, any answers that you are seeking will unfold at the right time, right? Is what this is talking about that. You don't have to do it alone uh, and uh, expect, you know, just focus on the highest outcome overall, right? Don't be attached to the outcome uh, as in terms of how it's going to be delivered. But definitely this is saying is to have faith and do a little bit more allowing, uh, you know, in that. And that's going to be key. Um, you're channeling and uplifting humanity. Let's take a look at what the wants to come through for that. What is it? Say affirmations. Wow, guys, this is interesting. I keep shuffling these and sometimes I get the same cards coming out, but it was necessary cancer. This is about that, you know, a manifesting what you speak through your mouth is, is, is very, very important. What goes across your lips is very important. Okay. In terms of the words that you speak uh, to others, right? Um, you know, speak in the present tense and make sure that things are believable to you. Okay. So make sure that you're focusing on the positive side of things. Right. Uh, and as I was saying in the last video, I think it was with, um, uh, who was it with Capricorn that, you know, it, that is, uh, being positive in a negative situation is not being naive. That's leadership guys. That's leadership, right? And that this is about taking leadership of what comes out of your mouth so you can actually check it in at the gateway of your throat before it actually comes out, right? So, you know, very, very key, right? Uh, and um, before it comes out and you put it into existence, it's so important, right? It's so important. So, uh, uh, and that's what seems to come through. So, so make sure that you have got some, uh, you're manifesting in the present tense because all we have is now. And now and another now and another now, right? The past is already done. The future, we don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be created by the now, okay? So it all depends on what you do now. So make sure that you focus on manifestations now or right? in the now, okay? I am abundant, right? I am um, looking for, uh, you know, the, uh, all, I'm, I'm, ex I'm, look I, I'm excited for the possibilities that are coming to me now, you know, it's that type of thing, okay? So uh, uh, that's what I feel that's coming through over here. Um, I do want to find out uh, also that you're already doing it. Let's pull a card on uh, what's that? Uh, keep facing your true north. Keep going, okay? Whatever it is. What is it? Ultimate love, right? So this is about facing your true north ultimate love um you know this is about you know incorporating love not it starts with you looking in the mirror and starts with you remember we talked about that at the very beginning i think this is just another um you know layer of that uh you know just saying ultimate love forgive your you know others and forgive yourself um release the past and uh you know uh, you can really make a big change you, when you change your inner your outer changes right so it's amazing you, you ever notice that when you when you eat good food and you treat yourself 
like a goddess uh, and you really eat good food, it shows on the outside too, right? So you anything that you say on the inner, right? Anything you say on the inner or that, you know, it shows on the outer, right? So make sure that you check that in, okay? You check on that and look in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful, powerful, and I'm brave, right? So that is something to remember. So pick one affirmation that you want to do. Put it up on your, your bathroom mirror of some sort. Do something like that. But that's very, very key for you. Uh, and, uh, you know, very, very key, I think. Uh, I'm beautiful, I'm powerful, and I'm brave, right? And, uh, you know, that would be one. So note it, note it down below. Put it out in your energy and put your favorite I am quote in your mirror and then make sure that you revisit that every single day until it's normal to you. And when it's normal, guess what? Switch it out with another one, okay? Uh, and just add it. Keep adding to your affirmation list, all right? So guys, that's what I'm getting for you, okay? So that's what I am imploring you to do, okay? <laughs> you have to remind yourself how beautiful you are because sometimes you forget, all right? And that's key. So it starts here. You're beautiful, all right? You are, all right? So what we're going to do is jump into the main spread and let's go ahead and take a look at that and let's see what's happening for you there. So what's happening for cancer in terms of where they're at right now? Let's take a look at what that is for cancer. And keep in mind, we've got a full moon that's happening in a, the um, Scorpio on the 27th, all right? So nothing superficial. You're going to be focused on meteor connections like those of your tribe that we discussed, that type of thing. Um, anything that's superficial, relationships, are, are, you, you need something a little bit more tangible, okay? It's, that's what's going to come through within this uh, moon. So uh, uh, it's called the flower moon, right? You're blooming, right? So very, very nice. So let's take a look at where you're at, Cancer, right now. Where are you at right now? Uh, for the month of April 2021, what do we have? We get the Emperor and the Two of Wands. Nice. Okay. So this talks to me about... Um, now, the Emperor is really about, um, um, it's a four energy, very grounded, um, Aries energy, that fire energy. You can almost see that fire in the background with him, but he's very solid, foundational, talking about structure. Now, this could be you taking this on right now and getting that and then looking to the future. What does this look like? What is the solid foundation and structure that I want to put into place? And what's my plan? This is what's my foresight? What's my plan look like? What, what's going to bring me close? Or to the light, right? Um, and that's how I feel here. So some of you might be dealing with Aries. Some of you might be focused on um, carrying that fire energy for yourself within a situation, you know, a person, place, or thing. But I really feel that you're grounding yourself and you're you're focusing on on what it is that you want and you're planning what that's going to be looking like. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah. And and to know that what you're looking for for some of you. You're looking for that pearl in that oyster, right? You're looking uh, for that one in a million special love, okay? And it's like you don't want to settle for less. Anything else is like so like uh, distasteful for some reason for you, I think, is what's have you're looking for a special love. And you're going to know when that hits, okay? Um, but I really feel that right now that's what you're doing. You don't want to be in a relationship where there's a lot of empty feelings and robotic hearts, um, you know, where there is a boring routine. You want to kick out of that. And again, that Scorpio full moon on the 27th of April is going to help you do that. So you got some help from the universe. All right. Uh, but that's what I feel here. You don't want empty feelings. You don't want to pretend that they don't exist or not confront them or share them. Okay. And that's what I see coming through here. Let's take a look at your opportunity or challenge opportunity or challenge. What is that for you here? Opportunity or challenge. Nice. Okay, so here's what we've got. We've got the five of cups. Now, fives we know are about adversity. There's been some sort of loss or regret. But why I said nice is that you've got this opportunity of prosperity that's leading you forward here, okay? This is saying is to utilize those two cups it's going to be key, okay? Don't stay here too long, okay? Because this is a perspective, okay? And if you keep looking down, then that's where you're going to go, okay? So this is about, you know, looking at something and taking a different angle on it, right? And knowing that the universe is offering two more cups. You have to play out your full hand until you lose, right? You can't lose when you still got two cups there. So just saying, <laughs> okay? Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, right? And then we get into earth energy here. So this is saying use this two of cups because it's going to put you on the path to prosperity, okay? Uh, the ace of pentacles is about whatever it is that you're manifesting. Guess what? 
it's coming to fruition. So this is the opportunity. The challenge is to stay stuck at this, all right? But that's, again, face down. Why not look up into the light and uh, follow the pinnacle on the yellow brick road, right? And and I just say that for, for some fun here, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, follow that of which that you want that is value to you. It doesn't have to be a pinnacle. It could be whatever that is, whatever represents value to you, love, you know, whatever that is. So some of you, it's about, you know, who have been past situations in terms of love you're not it's about not giving up maybe you've been defeated or lost but you're smarter right and so now you're put on the path that's going to lead you to that prosperity and that that big one you know love that we that we see here right that one in the million special love um so there you go so what is your strength right now what is the strength for cancer right now what does that look like for cancer the strength nice Okay, so we get uh, the Three of Pentacles and the Temperance card. So Three of Pentacles and the Temperance card. So, you know, threes are all about uh, some sort of communication. This is about teamwork and collaborating with others. Remember at the beginning where we said you don't have to do it alone? This is what's coming into play. Your strength is going to be in numbers and working with others, okay? You don't have to do it alone. Call on people of your tribe in order to help you. It's going to give you a lot more balance. This is temperance giving you that balance that you need. Uh, and this is more of the... Um, uh, you know, Sagittarius type energy, that fire energy with emotions to help things grow, right? And then also using your perspective of your third eye and your connection with source to give you wings to fly and to take this to flight, okay? So that's really kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, you know, the threes are all about, you know, you know, communication. So getting communication with others and let them help you, okay? Um, and, you know, and then that's going to be very, very key, okay? Uh, so that's going to be key. Uh, anything more on the strength? Investments. Being, st being, you know, focusing your stability, uh, you know, being very wise and practical as it pertains to your investments that you make. It could be in your business, in love, in your work, in your job, whatever that is for you. Okay. Uh, some of you may be starting new businesses and investing in there. Some of you might be investing money in the, the uh, you know, the, the stock market, you know, just doing different things or investing your money on that, what you value that you know is going to be a smart investment for you. Okay. So definitely doing your research, maybe for some of you doing that, but you're, um, but that's what I see coming through on this strength, you know, balancing out your foundation and working with others to give you enlightenment as it really maintains to your investments, uh, love, work, or life overall. All right. Uh, recent past, what are you springboarding into from? Yeah, you're moving from the past into the future. You got the six of cups. That's the nostalgia, right? But this, the six is about growth, right? It's a pregnant number growing, right? Looking back at nostalgia and the innocence and how far that you've come, baby. You come a long way, okay? And that's what this is saying. So you're looking back at things when, you know, when you're innocent, right? When you didn't know what you now know now, right? <laughs> you know, and, and boy, you know, it was, if I would have known, right? But now that you do, right? You do. And that's the key thing because some people maybe don't, don't get as far, right? So just note that, right? We're all on different journeys and we're in this together, all right? So just note that. But that's what you're coming from. What is your, um, what is your strength? Uh, what is your strength that you need to focus in on? What is your strength for cancer? Uh, April 2021, what is this? I'll take that. What else wants to come through for cancer? Uh, strength for April 2021. Okay, you want to come out one at a time like this. Okay, it's like flip, flip. Um, so what I get here is, yeah, yeah, you're flipping things around. I get the seven of swords and the six of pentacles. So you're kind of taking this, uh, uh, you know, this seven of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, any sort of deceit, you're balancing that out. You're flipping that over and this is going to be balanced. Like, hey, we're going to balance this out. It could be done with a Libra, another air, uh, perhaps an air sign, or, you know, you might have that in your chart. But that's what I feel coming through there. So, uh, yeah, balancing things out. Now, you might be getting help from someone. Someone might be helping you. Or it could be that's balancing out. So the scales are being balanced, okay? Uh, some of you in terms of your finances. Uh, some of you in a relationship. And some of you both, okay? So that's what I see coming through here, all right? Uh, we'll pull one more card in terms of your strength here. How are we at in time? Okay, cool. Yeah, being wise. Taking your time and being smart, okay? All right? As playful as this card is, it does mean business, all right? <laughs> Look at those eyes. 
<laughs> so that's that's what's coming through here. You're taking your time and you're being smart about it. All right. Uh, love whatever. Love in your uh, your your foundation is a key. Near future uh, for cancer. What's the near future for cancer? That didn't quite come out. So let's take a look. This wants to come out. What is this? Near future. Nice. Okay, guys. This is the strength card. This is saying that you've got the strength to handle. You know. Uh, the most, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I guess the, the biggest beast within you right, is what this is saying, okay? And so this is saying is that you might have Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with a Leo or uh, you might be just carrying on that energy. But what this talks about here is having the strength to be able to move forward and to harness uh, that uh, uh, the inner, you know, inner demons or whatever that is that's coming into play. You've got that. You know it's a part of you. You're making it a whole part of you, but you know when to tame that down, right? you have the strength and you know kind of when things start wobbling a bit where you have to step back and kind of take control here a little bit it's an eight card which again is about balance right that infinity symbol balance okay um that being an eight card so it is strength uh leo energy uh that's in the near future so it's calling on you to be strong right you know for some of you it's going to be very very key anything else yeah against any sort of misunderstandings, any sort of confusion, um, anything of the sort, maybe for perhaps, you know, uh, for some of you, if, if um, I don't know, for, for some of you, some, this is coming up for someone, but it's about being judgmental, not being judgmental and maybe being strong and not doing that, offering, you know, that opinion of, of anything, sort of just kind of stepping back uh, and, and not uh, getting involved in uh, major clouded misunderstandings. You're just, you're going to step back from that uh, and you're going to speak up and stand your ground. Okay. I'm telling you, this is what I feel. You're standing your ground and this could be, you're not going to allow things to cloud, you know, a relationship, a situation or in your life, you're going to get clear within this. Okay. Uh, and it calls on, it, it calls on your strength there. There's no doubt about it, but, uh, I gotta tell you cancer as, uh, uh, you know your emotions, right? And your emotions and um, your sensitivities, it can actually, again, be that superpower that you can use uh, to stand up, right? And to, to carry on that Leo energy, all right? Let's take a look at uh, your, your suggested approach. Suggested approach for Cancer, April 2021. What does that look like for Cancer? April 21, 2021, I should say. April 2021 for Cancer, suggested approach. Uh, in terms of the situation, whatever has brought them to my channel. What do we get here? Oh, this is nice. This is really beautiful. I get the Knight of Cups. There's an opportunity that is coming in. The Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. I think you might have a couple opportunities, all right? Um, some of you, it could be from a fire sign and a water sign. For some of you, this could be that there, your, your, a water sign is coming towards you. Some of you might have your own businesses. Uh, some of you, uh, um, you know, might uh, be that visionary, that entrepreneur, right? Uh, and being an authority of that. Um, you know, really fire energy is that King of Swords, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, okay? And uh, the Knight of Cups is a younger sign coming through, offering love you know, cancer, you know, you know how I feel. We, 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 we kind of get each other. We, you know, we're, we get each other. Maybe you're both water signs, right? Uh, but they're coming through very honest and truthful. Okay. Uh, and maybe they're, uh, maybe this person is very, very passionate and is also has their own business or is a leader in some way, shape or form as well. Um, but what I'm, what I'm seeing here is that your suggested approach is to be transparent in your emotions but also uh, focus on being that visionary entrepreneur. Again, some of you have your own businesses here is what I feel. Uh, it could very much well be the case. Um, but yeah, anything else? Anything else for cancer? What wants to come out? Yeah, you know, um, this is about, um, remember I talked about, uh, you know, stepping in and having judgment of some sort over here in the near future and kind of staying away from that. Um, this is saying is that you're not going to be, um, you're not going to be, uh, controlled by anyone and, and, and not allow yourself to control anyone as well. You know, it goes both ways is what, what I'm, what's coming through here. But, um, this is, you're not going to be tied to something that is not going to be, uh, that's going to be clouded, full of illusions or misunderstandings, right? Again, that, that, uh, full moon in Scorpio is not going to let you do that on the 27th. So, but that's how I feel though, that controlling has got to let go. So as long as that, that's, that's, that's good there. So your next, that's what it needs to uh, let you know. There's going to be hidden and unknown things. So, you know, you're, that, this is so beautiful because it's um, a flower moon that's coming up and it has to do with the pink of uh, flax flowers, those really beautiful little pink flowers. 
it's beautiful and uh, I kind of feel that this kind of signifies that that uh, during you're gonna those are there's gonna be some shadows there's gonna be things that are hidden um, you know that that uh, you know in terms of controlling but uh, this is about you know keeping them at bay again standing up and being that taken on that Leo energy what is it that you uh, need to know what is it that you need to know what do you need to know cancer what is that what you need to know is that the investments that you're making are going to pay off, okay? So we get the uh, Seven of Pentacles. Have faith in the investments that, that of which that you are investing into will pay off, okay? Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Yeah, and uh, this is about what you also need to know is that you're going through a change right now, right? You have left what you were in the past and you know, you're moving into uh, some beautiful waters ahead and it's exciting, okay? You might be moving with someone. Some of you might uh, be making some changes, uh, you know, within your life. Uh, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then, uh, yeah, that's what I see here. Uh, anything else in terms of what you need to know? What do you need to know? Transformation. Yeah, you're rising like the phoenix. You're moving forward, okay? You're moving forward. This is beautiful. Um, you're going through the pain and any sort of uh, uh, of the past, and you're moving forward, okay? So for some of you, relationship, uh, in just a, a life cycle, um, let's take a look at your hopes and fears. What is this? Queen of Swords. So this is about uh, taking on this energy, uh, you know, making sure that if you see something that is being, you know, a kind of a red light for you, or a or a horn, you know, that's going off, that you're going to cut this or any red light or any beeping sound like within your system or in your vicinity. Um, you're going to take heed of that, and you're going to gracefully move it out of the way okay so she's going to gracefully move it out of the way because uh she's focused on her goal here so your hopes and your fears is that your hopes is that you don't have to use that sword uh and that things uh you know can actually move forward but i really feel that this uh this is gemini libra aquarius energy um your fear is that maybe you might feel you're going to be cut off by someone a love situation or, situ or something of the sort but this is saying um let me clarify that what is this yeah, you feel you're going to be cut off from someone due to a heartbreak, and that will bring you some sort of heartbreak. Uh, anything more in terms of your hope? This is saying, no, you know, that, that cycle's completed. Okay, so that cycle's completed. That's done with. So any sort of Three of Swords energy, uh, you're, you're cutting this out, right? And this has come to completion. You're ready to use that wand and move forward, okay? What is the overall outcome, uh, even though you've got free will? Oh, this is good. Nice. Okay. Anything else uh, for cancer? Nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my. Okay. You saw me shuffle all this. This is crazy. Okay. So in order. Okay. Ace of swords, five of swords, six, the lovers. Okay. So you've actually got clarity, power, and victory over the deception, and then there's love coming your way. Now, I got to tell you, with this lover's card coming in, and you might be dealing with the Gemini, okay? Uh, for some of you, uh, you know, you could have uh, someone around you, you know, in that, or it's just two people coming together with, you know, in, in the contract. This is about... Uh, um, yeah, I mean, what I say is, is it's union, it's love, it's, it's real union here and, uh, it's, it's beautiful. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, wow, it's, um, uh, you let go of deception. You've reached some sort of clarity and victory, uh, over some sort of deception. Now this could be a deception within your head, that nostalgia of the past. Remember your recent past had this, this could have been a tie to something, a, a, a way of thinking, a way of doing that was looping in your system. But this is saying is that now you're not deceiving yourself, nor are you letting any other person deceive you. And so I think that's why you're kind of speaking up and standing your ground. But it's going to really move you forth in move you forward in love. This is beautiful, guys. I mean, Cancer, this is great. This is uh, you know all about that clarity, power, and victory. This is all air energy. I mean, all of these cards are right here. So you might have air energy within your chart or dealing with someone, but so beautiful. I mean, really, really beautiful is what I see here. So. Guys, uh, that's what I have for you here. The lover's power, victory, and clarity over deception. And then the lover's card, boom. So some of you are going to find someone uh, or someone that you can come uh, see eye to eye with, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let me know how this resonates with you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, definitely like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.